Well, the hearing for three men accused in the plot to kidnap Governor Gretchen Whitmer will continue today. Peter Musico, Paul Bellar, and Joseph Morrison are accused of helping six other men in the conspiracy. The judge is expected to decide if there's enough evidence to send their case to trial. The other suspects involved are facing charges in federal court. Well, starting today, Stellantis is idling five North American assembly plants due to the global chip shortage. We've been telling you about it for weeks now. The Warren Truck Assembly Plant and the Windsor Assembly Plant are among those temporarily closing. The plant in Warren is scheduled to be down through April 18th. The Windsor plant is expected to be down for the next four weeks. The other impacted plants are in Brampton, Ontario, Illinois, and Mexico. Meantime, production resumes today at the Dearborn Truck Plant. Ford was forced to pause production there of its popular F-150 pickup truck since last Thursday because of a supply chain issue. We're told the issue is tied to the global shortage of semiconductor chips. Ford officials say the ongoing chip shortage could cost the automaker up to one point, uh, rather $2.5 billion in profits. Wow. Well, this morning it's calm and it's uh, clear right now. It's just a cold start today. Temperatures starting out below freezing right now. It's still at freezing 32 degrees in Detroit. But the wind chill 25 degrees and we'll have a fairly light wind through the morning, especially as the sun comes up. We'll have light winds, but after the cold start, the sun will warm us up. So by 9 a.m., 32 degrees. So make sure the kids have a heavy coat this morning. Back to winter coat needed to start the day. Otherwise, a bright and sunny day and this afternoon will end up being pretty comfortable with highs uh, around 54 degrees tomorrow, jumping up to near 70 degrees. Going to be windy tomorrow, but that's what we get. Big changes today, mid 50s, tomorrow near 70.